Okay, what we've got here is a, uh, a superconducting magnet, or rather a superconducting ring of uh, high temperature superconducting ceramic, YBCO. And I've suspended a, uh, uh, an NDB magnet uh, above it using Meissner effect levitation. And the effect that I'm trying to demonstrate here is the spontaneous rotation of this magnet while it's suspended. So you can see that it's been rocking back and forth, and uh, the magnitude of the rocking will sometimes increase spontaneously until the magnet rolls all the way over and just continues to, uh, to roll. And it looks to me like it is increasing. There's a little white speck on the edge of the magnet that I'm watching, and it looks like it's going a little bit higher every time until it rolls over. And sure enough, the magnet is now in continuous rotation in one direction, spontaneously. And it'll keep going like that forever, as long as you can keep it cool. You see the little white spot on the edge? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to try to uh, rotate this whole container without disturbing the phenomenon so that you get a full-on view of it in the camera. You can see that magnet is rolling continuously without any input of external energy other than that keeping it cold. How's that looking? I'm zooming out just to see the container. Okay. Zooming in. Yeah, I get a nice tight shot of that. Okay, so we have a high strength NDB magnet suspended by Meissner effect levitation over a donut of high temperature YBCO superconducting ceramic. Is this one melt textured? Uh, yeah, this, yes. Okay, so this has been reground up and put back together and melted uh, uh, into a sort of a sintered donut of large chunks of this YBCO uh, ceramic material. And as you can see, that magnet is rotating by itself, spontaneously. And it started from a standing, relatively standing stop, too. Should we try to repeat if that? If you point? stopped it now. If I stopped it now. It would, depending on the frost buildup. Okay, wait, let me see if I can release it. It's not moving very much at all. And we'll see if it will start up. You don't know which power is not. No, not on this magnet. Right now. Because it is tilted slightly. Yeah, well, that has to do with how I set it down and the asymmetries of the uh, of the f the, the uh, superconducting disc itself. Now, often uh, in this demonstration, the magnet will rock. Uh, uh, greater and greater through a greater and greater arc until it spins around uh, spontaneously as it did at the very beginning of this video. I'm looking at uh, the tiny little speck of white on one edge of this magnet watching it rock and it looks like it's uh, it's uh, increasing just slightly. Uh, let me see if I can pour a little bit more liquid nitrogen in there. Now, I think there have only been uh, two or three papers published in the peer-reviewed literature about this particular effect. 
the uh, uh, the accepted scientific explanation <coughs> excuse me is that it's due to a thermal gradient across the magnet affecting the uh, strength of the magnetic field as the magnet rotates through or carrying its own field. I don't personally believe that explanation. <coughs> but I haven't got a different one. So there's that. And it does look to me like that <coughs> rotation is increasing a little bit. We're getting a little bit greater arc there of the, uh, the, white, <coughs> the white dot. So eventually it will start rotating. I don't know if we have the patience to uh, wait that long, but we'll wait a few more minutes. This is where the you, know, you bring up the soundtrack and back. Yeah. I don't know. Will it? Do you think we're going to if you put bigger size of magnet, even bigger magnet? Well, I do have another magnet here that we could try. Okay, now I was able to let that one go uh, with it pretty motionless. <clears throat> I have now magnet inside of this. Oh, what, the, what will happen if you put? Well, the, uh, that the outer layer will freeze hmm? and crack. You Problem. think so? Mm -hmm. that the plastic will crack? Mm -hmm. So I think you can see that the uh, uh, magnitude of the rocking has increased a bit on this magnet since I've let it go. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if we just keep watching, it might eventually go all the way around and start spinning. Yeah, it's obviously increased its rocking quite a bit there. It's almost ready to go, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And there! Oh! oh. Almost. Almost. Close. But it is holding on. Uh, it has tendency, counterclockwise tendency, because it doesn't go that far. Yeah. <laughs> And I want to emphasize to the view to the viewers that there's no, uh, except for the air motions being blown around, there's no external force or anything being applied to this magnet. It's doing this spontaneously. It is close to. <laughs> yeah, it wants to go right. Close to threshold. Ah, ah. You thought it was going to go the other way, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I did well, too. That's right. I did too. We all thought it was going to go the other way. And there you go. Spontaneous rotation of a magnet uh, while suspended uh, under Meissner effect levitation over a superconducting uh, donut. And thank you for watching. <laughs>